evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meadzy69. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have two replays for you. We have the replays that we rarely see uh, of tanks. Um, that is the E4 and the Object 907, the fairly new tank in the game. Now, one is going to be a heartbreaker and one is going to be the other. So, uh, first up, we have the E4. Now, this used to be a tank that I used to go to back in the day when it first sort of uh, when I first was grinding the lines I absolutely loved this tank uh, but now I think most of you know my, my thoughts on the tank I do think it needs a buff it's for me it's got a lovely gun but it, it's just too weak there's too many weak points and mainly the hatch the hatch is just too weak but that doesn't mean people don't like it and that doesn't mean it can't perform well um if you start using it as a TD, as a tank destroyer, then you're probably not going to f f uh, perform that well in the tank. But if you use it as a standard heavy, just like you would uh, an IS-7, as we can see there, an E5, then you will start performing a lot better in the tank. Uh, it's basically a heavy with a massive gun. So it does have the weak points, but I can still understand why some people love the tank. For me, the disappointment is that the, the T9 version, the T30, is much better than this absolutely much better and it is kind of a disappointment going from the t30 to this but i just think if it had the little the little buff on the hatch doesn't have to be super super strong like the e3 but just troll just troll maybe the outer parts that are very weak of the hatch and the inner part that is quite weak that we do see on some some tanks uh but nevertheless we're not here to talk about the tank we're here to talk about this amazing battle so he's gone to the left side of vineyards and straight away he he spots the IS-7 who who has the same thoughts and he gets a nasty HE shell into the standard B. Now the standard B is one of my favourite tier 9 medium tanks but it just has no armour at all. So you do need to be careful if you are playing the standard B because anyone can pretty much HE you. So I love his patience here. He's being very, very patient. A lot of players would have just YOLO'd straight in there to try and get the kill but he's being patient and the patient pays off and he does take out the standard B. But of course we do know that the is7 is around here somewhere now you don't quite have enough dpm he's telling the e100 to go i mean if they go together then they will isolate this is7 so i mean i love that affirmative and they are now both pushing two big guns against this is7 but the is7 is trying to get the hell out of there but of course him trying to get out of there is just going to now get some nasty shots into his rear and now it is they're actually losing on tanks it's a five versus six but of course this they need to take care of this is7 pretty quickly now i'd actually i would have ignored that is7 there to get the kill shot on that m103 uh, but nevertheless you know he went for the is7 there's two tanks on one and they can still deal with him pretty quickly taking care of a, a tier 10 tank and just leaving the m103 so the m103 is low hit points but i mean they could have cleared him i uh, suppose they was going for the most dangerous target which is the is7 but at this point the waffle in on his team is uh, is now dead and it just needs it just leaves two tanks left now that was a nasty shot nasty fire there into that t54e1 so 4000 damage at the moment you can see it's a two against five here two against five but there are a couple of low hit point tanks and he does finally take care of the m103 for his third kill uh so him and his e100 here really has to carry this game if they want to take this game home are they going to be able to do it we're about we will find out very soon we do know that there is a, a low hit point tank the t54e1 because of that nasty shot we know he's a one shot we're not quite sure on the other tanks at the moment now I love this camouflage. Uh, the camouflage that he's using, I use this on a few tanks. It is the, I think the fan zone camouflage. It just like, looks like someone's got a load of paint and just chucked it over the tank. Now, hopefully, he was needed to get that shot there. He was a little bit uh, behind, but the E100 has managed to sort of get away. But here comes all four of these tanks. Now, they need to pick out their targets wisely. Pick out the most dangerous target and, the, of course, the lower hit point target. So he's going for the Object 268. He does have a high roll loaded anyway, and he does manage to take care of him. Now, bringing it down to a two versus three. I love what he's actually doing here on the reload. He's just waiting. And, of course, because he's waiting behind a building, 
building or behind whatever this is well it is a building uh the e100 is actually in the middle so they are going to focus him because he's the easiest target to go for at the moment there's a motion up there not sure if he even knows what he's uh he's doing he's just sat there uh not really doing too much at the moment and that there was a beautiful high roll that was an important high roll as well because that that He's a, it's a one versus three, but now potentially there's three tanks all on a one shot. Unless he really low rolls, they are all on a one shot. He's already on 6,200 damage. Is that guy going to make a mistake? Of course he's going to make the mistake. So for him to win this game, he needs a one versus three Kolobanov Rezani medal. Of course, I would ignore the motion because he's not the most dangerous target. The most dangerous target is this E100. And I love the fact that he's doing exactly that. He's trying to just turn around and he does get a nice block from the E100 and he gets the kill shot. So six kills, 7,400 damage. And what's more funny is he's still full hit points. He's still full hit points. Is he going to end the game full hit points? We're about to see. Now he comes out sideways. Of course, easy. Made it look so easy. And that was 8,000 damage. Didn't think it would be that much damage, but yeah, 8,000 damage. Rosani, one versus three. Kolobanov, 1,800 base XP. And he picked up that damage, that, that damage pretty quickly. Uh, and I mean, I didn't think, it didn't feel like there. He done 8,000, but it was a nice win and a nice carry from him as well. So next up, we are going to watch Skill Issued. So well done, T22 is balanced. Nice name there um, for that replay. But next up, we're going to watch Skill Issue. Now, according to this battle, this guy, his name doesn't really suit him because the, he's not really got a skilled issue when it comes to this battle. Of course, the Object 907 is newly released. in. It was in crates, so not too many people have got this tank. But if you don't know about the tank i have made a video on the tank it's basically like an object 140 t62 t22 all tanks like that really so uh not a bad tank but i'll probably it's not worth it It wasn't worth buying i don't actually have this tank because for me it wasn't worth uh, purchasing when i've got all the other tanks i've got the 140 i've got the t62a and i've got a t22 so for me it just wasn't worth buying this tank or even attempting to buy the tank buying containers which you might not even get the tank anyway now they are on hellas um there's only one medium on his team which is him and there is one light tank and a medium on the enemy team of course they are going to go on the left side which he needs to be very careful of especially if they do manage to flank around so i do understand why he didn't go left because he doesn't want to be on his own uh the enemy have caught base a his team are just about to catch base b and now he's going to catch this uh, e3 probably the best player on the enemy team off guard e3 on the on from the straight clan probably didn't expect for the 907 to be here uh, and he's just got himself into a bad position to be honest and he's just going to get wrecked he can't really do much when the guy in front of him is just keeping him there uh, the mouse there he's just keeping him in position and really there is nothing that mouse can do so well played there from the mouse but he of course he does lose a lot of hit points doing so and now they're going to do exactly the same really to this is7 the is7 on his team and the mouse is just going to try and keep him in position and his hit points are going to go down very very quickly uh, especially when there is three tanks staring at you now he doesn't want to lose any hit points he needs to really sit behind this uh, this this mouse he doesn't want to get shot from the is7 the mouse is dead but of course with the is7 behind this guy there's not much he can do either so a five versus five at the moment there is the vk up there of course the, the, the armor on the VK-90 is extremely strong. It's a really underrated tank. Can't penetrate it with APCR. So he's just going to sit him in position, get him tracked, and hopefully the team behind him will get some shots off. And he manages to, to get another track shot there. And I love the fact that he's always going for them track shots, always trying to keep him there. But of course, now there is a Death Star there. Uh, it doesn't want to get shot from the Death Star at all. But as soon as the Death Star shoots, then he's going to be able to release his DPM into him. And of course, the Death Star gets a bounce. <laughs> nice bounce. Not too often you do bounce in this shot, uh, in this tank. But people used to say that the Death Star's overpowered. But when you get a bounce like that, that is all this guy is going to be able to do. Especially when there's an IS-7 and an Object uh, 907 in front of you just releasing their DPM. There's really not much you can do. So three kills at the moment. It is now a two versus three. It's a lot of work to do. There's, I mean, they've got hit points, but... 
them hit points can go down very very quickly when all three tanks if all three tanks focus they are also losing on supremacy points so they have to bear that in mind as well now the is7 is doing the right thing here and he's just sitting on the cap just uh, just stopping the enemy from getting their points because of course as soon as you sit in in cap their points stop until they either come off cap or they get another base, or they get a kill. So the IS-7 is doing the right thing there, and just stopping the base. I don't know if, if he's trying to cap it or not. I mean, he's not it's not working out for him at the moment, but he just wanted to stop the bases. Now, I would have stayed on there for a little bit longer, just so they're winning on supremacy points. Uh, but of course, if they do manage to take care of this T-22. Now, this is the first error here. He's going for this Vickers Light. I would be going for the T-22. I mean, I know the T-22 went around the corner, but now there is the Vickers Light and the T-22 dealing with this IS-7. And now the T-57 is gonna come and help them as well. So definitely, this is an error definitely is an error just like this guy is saying here the group focus fire what are you guys doing now this is a massive error on on our guy on the object 907's part he started going for different tanks like he should be going for the same tank that is7 was going for because before you know it he is now alone against three tanks yes he can deal with this t57 now because this guy is on a reload but they're losing on supremacy points and all of a sudden you've got a t22 and a vickers all chasing you when you're only on sort of 900 800 hit points and two tanks like this come at you unskilled says that guy i mean he done well but i just think that could have actually changed the outcome of the game. If he would have just carried on focusing the T20, uh, the T22 or the Vickers with this IS-7, then this game would have been a completely different outcome. Don't go... When there's two left, go for the same tank. Don't start going for separate tanks. I can understand why he was going for the T57, because the T57 wasn't looking at him. He was shooting, and he knows he was about to be on a reload. So if he gets the guy down low enough hit points, he should be able to clear him. But... It just it was just the wrong target wrong target at the wrong at the at that time uh go for the same target as your team is shooting when it is a two two versus two or two versus three like that just focus fire because i mean that can change outcomes of the game and i honestly think that changed the outcome of this game it would have been a win if they would have just focused fired but nevertheless 8,000 damage. It is currently the Hall of Fame in this tank, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough, and he gets the loss, but, you know, it was uh, it was still a decent battle, and it was still a well-earned mastery badge. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Midzy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.